Prime Minister Narendra Modi will hold a meeting today with chief ministers of all the states and union territories to discuss the current status of the COVID-19 pandemic in the nation along with issues related to vaccination via video conferencing, the Prime Minister's office PMO said on Monday. This will be the second time in five days that the Prime Minister is going to chair a meeting to assess the current situation with connection to the surge in the number of COVID-19 cases, according to a media report. India recorded 1,26,789 fresh COVID cases, setting another grim one-day record as the country battles the second wave of infections. The Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare's dashboard showed 685 deaths in the last 24 hours, pushing the total death count to 1,66,862. As per media reports, at least four states are staring at a coronavirus vaccine shortage, even as the Delhi COVID-19 case count breached the 1.25 lakh mark for the first time since the pandemic began last year. Rajya Sabha MP Maharaj Lysambha Sanajoba led the foundation stone of Champung Model Village in Western Ukrul District yesterday. The model village will set up under Sunset Others Gram Yojana SAGY. During the event, Lysambha Sanajoba said that Champung Village has a long history of having bone with the Maite community. Angry residents of Kurai in Imphalis today continued protests demanding the truth behind the death of Sanaton Atopam, an MBBS student of Regional Institute of Medical Sciences, Imphal. Since the early hours, the residents enforced a road blockade in several localities of Kurai. Traffic was disrupted due to the demonstration. No unwanted incidents were reported. The justice of Sanaton has been spearheading the protest over the death of the 22-year-old medical student. It has been demanding drop into his death. Kurai residents took out a torch rally in protest against the mysterious death of Sanatun Atopam last night. The rally started from Lamdong, covered several places including Telepati in Imphalist. Police tried to stop the demonstration at Minuthong where a scuffle broke out between the two sides. Later, the police managed to foil the rally. Maharaja Bodhichandra College Imphal today organized a one-day sensitization program on national education policy NEP 2020 at the college campus in Palace Compound, Imphal East. The Directorate of University and Higher Education Manipur sponsored the program. Bodhichandra College Principal Dr. M. Chandra during the program said such event will help solve the confusion among students, guardians and teachers with regard to NEP. An advocacy and awareness program on COVID-19 vaccination for healthcare workers was held at District Hospital Senapati today. The awareness program was organized by District Health Services Senapati under the aegis of State Health Society Manipur. As part of ongoing Swarnim Vijay Vars and World Health Day 2021, 44 Assam Rifles under 22 Sector AR IGARE yesterday organized a free medical checkup and wellness camp at Dailong Village of Tamenglong District. The camp was to provide free medical assistance to senior citizens who are not able to visit doctors in the town due to various physical and health conditions, Assam Rifles said. Mizoram today once again reported the highest single-day spike in COVID-19 cases in nearly three months with 14 infections recorded in the last 24 hours. With this, the total number of COVID-19 cases in the state now stands at 4,522. Notably, Mizoram had reported 17 cases on January 10 and 9 cases on April 6, which was recorded to be the highest single-day jumps in recent times. New Zealand today temporarily suspended entry for all travellers from India, including its own citizens, for about two weeks following a high number of positive coronavirus cases arriving from the South Asian country. According to media reports, the move comes after New Zealand recorded 23 new positive coronavirus cases at its border today, of which 17 were from India.